Well, it's still 14 years since they last beat us, so that's the uh, save, main saving grace from today. We didn't lose the game. I think... I don't want to say we... It's a hard one. Like, I, I don't think personally, like, we've got to be fair and, like, fair is fair. I don't think we did enough to win that game to me today. I, I don't think we deserve to win it. I think on the balance of play, you've, like, I know it's Blackburn and people will be saying, oh, you, you don't want to say that about them, but we've got to give them credit today. They defended really well. We, and to be fair, they were good value for a point. They'll probably feel like if they had 11 men for 90 minutes, they may have even nicked it. It was that sort of game. It was close, close for both teams. So I think a draw is probably a fair result, as much as it hurts me to say it. And it didn't look that way after like 10 minutes when we went 1-0 up. You thought, we're going to wipe the floor from here. First like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I thought we flew out of the traps. We, we were good and we were in the face first to everything. We were like getting it into nice areas out wide and then it just kind of just stopped we we get out wide but we didn't really create anything it was a bit of a it was disjointed i'd say in the final third and probably symptomatic of a side who haven't really spent any time together there was no like cohesion in attack we like we got foster dropping 30 yards from goal thinking he's harry kane and you're like getting the box lyle put the ball in the net like you did we you know it's it was a difficult one i think and I, I fully understand, like, it'll come, hopefully, the more, like, time we spend on the training ground and, all right, there's new lads and that. But it was a bit concerning for me today to see us play 30 to 40 minutes against 10 men and not create anything. I don't think we had a single shot on target in the second half that I can remember. We certainly didn't make Purs make a save all afternoon, hardly. I think he made one from Collie Osho in the first half. And other than that, all he did was pick the ball out his net and that was it. It was a quiet afternoon for him, which was concerning to me, considering how much like possession we had. But listen, hopefully two weeks off now, not that many lads going on international, so hopefully he can go away and work on that. Positives from today, for me, Jaden Anthony, fantastic. For 90 minutes, he was fantastic. He looks lively, and like I've said to some of the like some lads off there and people I speak to about Burnley, Anthony for me was a bit more exciting I, I want to say than Sarmiento so I wasn't surprised when Anthony came in today and started I don't think Sarmiento's a bad player by any means I just think Anthony to me was a bit of a he was a more sure bet I think than Sarmiento but even when Sarmiento come on he put a fantastic ball in and like he showed signs and you think well he'll come good hopefully it was just just a really funny game. Like we had so much ball, a lot of huff, a lot of puff. But when we got around the box, you you saw kind of like the failings of the transfer window where we missed that bit of like invention around the box. We missed someone to come on and think like, All right, he's going to make something happen or he's going to put the ball in there. We missed that number nine behind Foster. Like we didn't really have anything, and that's obviously down to the. The transfer window, I suppose. We brought Fleming in, and once he beds in, I think he'll be a good player. But we'll just have to wait and like allow him to get fit because he'll be some weeks yet before he's like m match fit. He might be fit in after the international break, but you've got to get match fit in this league. So we'll give him time, and like I said, hopefully the two weeks off will do us good. Work on something like in the final third because I think that's where we do probably struggle the most. We've got no issues getting it into the final third. Like we worked it really nice at times, some great football today, but just that, that little bit in the final third, that bit of invention. I thought when Benson come on, I thought, right, this is us here now. We'll pin them back because they'll be scared and they'll go 2v1 and we'll have another man free elsewhere and it just didn't really work like that. He was soft and then that at the end was just embarrassing where he limped off. Like I, I felt embarrassed watching it as like a fan. I felt embarrassed for him. You know, Roberts was screaming at him to get back on the pitch and you're like, he's just too soft, isn't he? Like, I, I suspect we won't see much more of Benson. Just too soft, especially with Anthony coming in. Collie Osho was nice again today, like, just lacks that bit of end product yet, Collie Osho, but that'll come with age. And I don't know, it's end product, that's the, that's the key for me. The rest of it seems to be all right. We, like, we looked a 
a little bit shaky at the back when Estev went off, but Egan Riley's not a centre back, so you can kind of allow that a little bit. But I thought we we were all right. Just disappointing not to win against ten men and not create anything for me. It's a little bit disappointing. But we'll get there. I trust Parker will get it right and if these two weeks do us good, hopefully we can kick on a little bit after the international break. We have a baptism of fire at Leeds, so we'll soon find out. But I think overriding for me today, disappointment. And I know it's hard to say, but got to give a bit of credit to Blackburn. They made it tough for us. Like Even with 10 men, it, it was a really tough game for us today. And I, I felt they were good value for a draw and it was a fair result to me. And just... Parker, as Parker said, there'll be bumps in the road, and that's today is one of the bumps, and we'll just have to uh, hope you can get it right, get players back into the mix from injury, and hopefully we can kick on. But a bit of a bump today, disappointing not to win. But I, I think on the balance of play, I don't think any Burnley fan can have any complaints that we only drew that game, really, for me.